Well, let's be clear, this is the biggest offshore wind farm anywhere in the world, and what it shows is Britain is a great country to come and invest in, and it's meant jobs for local people, and it means clean, green energy for half a million homes in our country. It's part of what we need to have secure, reliable supplies of electricity and to get investment and jobs for our people, so it's a good day for Britain. But of course, when I chaired the G8, I had to arrange everything, starting with the dress code. Uh, there was some criticism. Why wasn't I wearing a tie? Um, what people didn't realise is, of course, President Putin wanted to do the whole thing uh, bare-chested on horseback. And uh, I, of course, had to negotiate him down to smart casual. Um, we haven't had that problem today. Sometimes people wonder, can we in the West, can we do big projects anymore? Can we do the big investments? Isn't that all happening somewhere else in the east uh, and the south of our world. And I think if you look at the United Kingdom right now, you can see we can do big projects. Not only did we do a superb Olympics last year, but underneath London, Crossrail is the biggest construction project anywhere in Europe. Not far away from here is Dubai Ports World London Gateway, which is the biggest port construction taking place anywhere in uh, Europe. And here you have uh, the biggest offshore wind farm anywhere in the world. I think this demonstrates Britain is a great place to uh, invest. I don't want to have too much schadenfreude, but it is actually a fact that last year foreign direct investment into Europe as a whole went down by something like 40%, but in the UK it went up by 24%. We are making this country incredibly attractive to invest in, and that's part of what this project is about. When it comes to green energy, I think we have one of the clearest, most predictable uh, investment climates, and we're going to add to that by completing uh, the energy bill uh, this year. So we will have a fantastic market for investors to come and build in. So a great win for Kent, a great win for renewable energy, and a great win for Britain.